Hey, what up, what up, everyone? So, making a follow up video on the uh, Windy debut. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, make sure uh, to check the link in the description because that video was very fun to make, and especially I saw some people really like the uh, uh, intro to it. So, yeah, make sure to check it out. And today, as always, with all units that I make a debut on, uh, I will make a how to run and where to use video. Uh, a few days after that so this is that video and today of course we're looking at uh, Windy so the wind uh, jack-o-lantern uh, I built him because uh, he did have a unique uh, buff on his second skill and I really wanted to test it out in more uh, sort of an in-depth way and if you don't know he's actually the only unit in the game uh, which has a crit damage up uh, buff that can be applied to other units. So there are a few units, I believe the Light Lizardman and the Dark, uh, what's it called? The Dark, uh, what's it called? Chimera, yeah. Uh, they can apply the crit damage up, but they only apply it to themselves. And Windy is the only unit that can apply it to everyone with his second skill. Uh, and the buff itself is increases uh, all crit damage by uh, a certain amount of percent. Uh, since his skill buffs level 2, uh, the minimum you can expect is 80%, but if you buff uh, additional times, that uh, buff uh, stat will rise even more. And I found that uh, he's a very good unit to use in a lot of speedrun teams. Uh, in, even in the debut, I showcased that uh, I actually got a high score with my uh, raid party by adding Windy into the mix. I think previously our runs did like uh, 40 to 45 seconds in uh, what you call the White Shadow Castle. Now it reached uh, down to 33 to 35 seconds. So not a huge decrease, but it did help. Yeah, so first of all, where can you use this guy? Uh, I found that there are a few dungeons where he's good at. He's mostly used uh, in PvE in my opinion, but he does have some use in PvP. So I found that uh, in Kairos he's a decent addition if you are uh, already able to get uh, both defense break and attack buff uh, in your team in some way or another. Uh, if you cannot, uh, it is better to pass on using Windy as uh, you will definitely have more uh, or rather an easier way beating the dungeon without him, with just attack bar. I mean, Kairos dungeons aren't exactly too hard, so... Uh, wind is definitely not needed for safety there, and uh, in most cases he might not speed up your runs depending on your team, so... As long as you have attack buff and defense break, you should be more than uh, fine. Uh, for Path of Growth, I tried using him, and he, he did work in some dungeons, but I wouldn't say he was amazing in them. I think I tried using him in uh, Queen Spider-Ness, but I mostly just uh, used him in Path of Growth because uh, Cleave's damage does partially scale with defense, so uh, he does boost uh, Cleave's damage by a lot. Uh, however, if you do not play Cleave, uh, this unit will probably not speed up your path of growth runs uh, that much. Uh, now, the best part where you can use him is actually raids. Uh, that's because uh, in raids, uh, there are three uh, people doing them, and uh, you simply do not waste uh, that much of a slot uh, compared to a dungeon that you would have to do solo with only three units. Uh, in raids, you have nine units uh, to spare, so Windy being one of them uh, will allow the whole team to do much more damage uh, compared to what he would boost uh, uh, to other units and your summoner if you are doing a solo dungeon. So for raids, uh, also reminder that uh, Windy does buff defense buff, uh, meaning that he is sort of a uh, safer unit to use in raids and if you find yourself dying a lot, he will actually help you sustain that as well. So I tried him using in all dungeons, uh, for Elite Twisted Marsh I wasn't a big fan of Windy, but for the other three he definitely did improve uh, the DPS a lot. I, I don't like for Twisted Marsh because uh, first of all she can steal that crit damage and uh, end up doing a little bit too much damage to you, so uh, if you do plan on using her here, make sure to use her safely and build a team around it, uh, especially make sure that you have one or two strips that you can use immediately after because if you don't uh, that three damage buff may come to bite you back 
Uh, but for these three, uh, we definitely improved uh, the damage a lot, and I think uh, we got way faster runs uh, with all three of these, especially Mythos, where it's completely a DPS check. For Boiling Waterfall, we actually tried to solo, uh, no, not solo, but uh, do the boss before uh, the little minion phase, and Previously, we were able to get the boss down to like 30%. Uh, once we added Wendy into the team, we actually dropped down to 10 to 15%. So uh, the DPS increase with Wendy definitely was pretty decent. So yeah, Don, if you do have uh, a Wendy build, definitely don't shy away from using him in raids as he, a lot of your teammates will appreciate the insane damage buff that you get, especially if you're on the weaker side of DPS and feel like you could contribute more with uh, just buffs. And yeah, uh, other than that, uh, another amazing use where you can use uh, Windy is the guild raid. Uh, I tried using him uh, in level 4 and it actually was the condition that allowed us to do level 4 because previously uh, we tried testing level 4 and we were doing around uh, 55 to 60 million damage per run uh, with our guild. Uh, later on we actually managed to do around 70 million per run and uh, that sort of allowed us to complete level 4 without too much struggle. And imagine the windy buff when uh, you are the only uh, person in your guild that has windy or at, le at least has uh, a built windy. Uh, the damage buff uh, you bring compared to even raids is sort of amazing, really. I mean, instead of where you buff 3 people in raids, uh, imagine buffing 20 people uh, who can all benefit from both defense buff, uh, making the saves safer as well as crit damage uh, up, uh, which will boost everyone's damage by a lot. So yeah, guild raids is an amazing content. Uh, to bring him to however make sure to not overdo it i feel like uh, one windy was more than enough especially if you keep buffing uh him with mana if you do not use mana i would say two windies uh could be a decent shout or at least try to cycle uh his skills in another way like with economy or whatever but yeah guild rate is probably one of the best content where you can bring windy because you just buff that many people with it and since the buff is very rare and only Windy can do it uh, as far as AoE monsters go, uh, yeah, he excels there a lot. And another use I found for him is actually in PvP and he definitely performed pretty decent in PvP because uh, for Challenge Arena you are sort of able to control the enemy a lot and if you bring a team built around Wendy, so stuff like, uh, first of all, Cleave, of course, because his damage skills with defense, uh, stuff like Bulldozer, who can ignore uh, defense and do damage based on defense, meaning that uh, if you checked uh, the debut, you actually saw that the Bulldozer with the Wendy's buff actually straight up one shot a high level Orbia. Uh, and yeah, if you are able to do a combo like that, uh, you will definitely benefit from using uh, Windy in your team. And similar to Brawlerina, of course, the conditions here are a little bit harder to control. And for example, if you do uh, bring something like a Windy plus a Bulldozer, uh, there is a chance that one of them will be banned. But uh, if you do manage to get uh, through or just build a team around defense buff, uh, well, units who scale with defense, uh, you could see a lot of success and also don't forget that he does have a passive where uh, he actually provides a sort of a sustain every 10 seconds uh, your unit with the lowest HP ratio does get a pretty huge shield uh, depending on his HP so there's sort of the extra safety there uh, that you can rely on and yeah as for content that's about it and now i'm gonna jump into uh runes so first of all for sets uh, i found that the best set by far on him is uh energy of course and for damage if you're going more for a uh, raid build and not using him as much in pvp you can also go blade or rage because uh his skills do do some damage but uh I prefer mine to have tanky uh, stats uh, to first of all maximize that damage on his third skill and second of all to 
make use of that uh, little sustain passive he has. Uh, other than those, uh, other sets that are decent choices are also Guard, Fatal, Swift, Endure, and Foresight. They're of course not as good as Energy Blade and Rage, but uh, they do have this use and sort of do perform a little bit better than uh, the rest of the set that I didn't mention would. And as for stats themselves, uh, I found that the build that works for me best was triple HP, but that's because uh, of how I used Wendy. If you are looking to use him more in PvE content, uh, you can give him some damage and go for something like HP, uh, crit damage or crit rate and HP, uh, meaning that he will retain the uh, decent chunk of his passive as well as uh, with this build he does have uh, a little bit of an increased damage with his third skill which actually scales with his max HP and uh, the last option is if you do not use him as a soul linked unit no actually as if you do use him as a soul linked unit the previous two builds were more uh, aimed at him not being used as a soul linked unit meaning he will use both his second skill and his third skill uh, constantly if you are using him as a soul link unit, you can actually go full damage dealer and uh, go for something like attack, uh, crit damage, crit rate, and attack. Uh, just because uh, if you are using him as a soul link, uh, you will mostly be spamming this skill and will pretty much never use this skill. And since this is the only skill that scales with max HP from his active skills, uh, if you are not using him, uh, you means as a soaring unit you will either be using this or you will be attacking with the basic attack and uh, since the basic attack does not scale with HP you might as well just go for uh, a full damage build such as attack with damage create or attack and uh, maximize the damage on there the best set in those cases is of course stuff like uh, uh, blade, rage and fatal and in some cases even swift since he will only be using the second skill and the basic attack but yeah overall i do like the unit uh i sort of expected him to be a little bit better but uh even then i would say he didn't disappoint me and uh just because i'm still the only uh person in the guild who uses windy I will keep using him for quite a bit but eventually i do feel like i will reset him because uh, it feels like the content he helps you to do is not so crucial uh, compared to what other units could allow me to do, uh, especially in PvP. And yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, more debuts are coming soon. Well, maybe not soon. I still haven't thought of which unit to build. But yeah, I'll definitely think of something and I'll see you in the next one.